Hi there. My name's Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I would like to share with you a paper I recently put out on the application of Thevenin equivalent circuits to the analysis of vacuum tube circuits. Instead of reading it on the website, I recommend clicking the download link and downloading the PDF. I think the font in the PDF and the equations in the PDF look nicer. And also the images in the PDF are sized as I intended them to be. On the website, they seem to all be set to be the same total size. Unlike a lot of papers which are behind paywalls, my tube circuits paper is open access, so you can get to it by just clicking on the link, which I'll include in the description below. The title is a riff on the title of a paper by my colleague Marshall Leach called On the Application of Thevenin and Norton Equivalent Circuits and Signal Flow Graphs to the Small Signal Analysis of Active Circuits. He takes a look at BJTs and MOSFETs. Essentially what he does is he computes Thevenin and Norton Equivalent Circuits looking into the terminals of the transistor in terms of the Thevenin Equivalent Circuits seen looking out the other terminals of the transistor. And I should mention that this is all for small signal models. In 2017, I first taught a class called Guitar Amplification and Effects. About two-thirds of that class is on vacuum tube circuits. The following year, in 2018, I taught our Analog Electronics class, EC3400, for the first time. This class focuses on transistor circuits. Marshall passed away in 2010, and fortunately the powers that be at Georgia Tech decided to leave his website up at leechlegacy.ec.gotech.edu so we could benefit from his notes on analog electronics. And I decided to teach the class using his techniques, in particular making extensive use of the Thevenin and Norton equivalent circuits he described in that paper. You can hear me blab more about these things on my EC3400 analog electronics playlist. Marshall also used these equivalent circuits in his low noise electronic design graduate course. And again, there's all kinds of information for that on his website. When it came time to teach my guitar amplification and effects class again in 2019, I wondered to myself, could I apply these kinds of Thevenin equivalent circuit techniques to vacuum tubes and use that to explain tube circuits more elegantly? And it turns out the answer is yes, and that's what I did. I derived these equivalent circuits and used them in my guitar amplification effects lectures here on YouTube, but I never got around to actually formally documenting that work until now. So I would invite you to check out this paper, and it would make me particularly happy if you did so because the publisher displays access statistics, which gives me even more numbers to obsess over than I currently do.